Hey guys, I lost my wallet yesterday. I'm a bit depressed about it. So I thought the theme for Thursday today, um, the tip I was going to give was uh, not exactly computer related, but um, a money saving tip. So everyone needs to fly, right? So Google, in fact of the matter, has a great user interface to, to figure out where to fly. But the user interface is a little bit hidden when it, one, when you, it comes to saving money. So for example, say I'm flying from S Singapore to Johannesburg and I put in some dates like I want to leave on um, say Friday and come back on, um, I don't know, the Sunday or something like that. So, and then I want to go nonstop. So I can see that this, the flight is about 1,725. Okay, there's only one airline in this route, but anyway. What um, you, you're not thinking of, I mean, what, what most people are not thinking about is the cheap and midweek flights but people might struggle to find or identify them. The way you identify them here with the Google one is you click on the input field and you go into the price graph. Ooh. And the cool thing is here, you basically say, um, you know, how long your trip is for, and you can identify um, cheaper flights. For example, this flight here is 1,725. But if I maybe left on the Monday, it could go down to $900. Sweet. So let me maybe take another more realistic option, I don't know, London to um, uh, Munich or something. Uh, uh, oh, that's strange dates. Oh, they're not so strange. Uh, the, this is a great thing. It's like, say you want to be gone a week, but you are uh, flexible on what day you can leave. So, I mean, if you if you left on a Friday, it's peaky. But you left on the Wednesday, you can save yourself a bit of money. So, yeah, Google Flights. Um, it's actually quite good if you click on the date and go into price graph. I hope you enjoyed that tip. Please give the video a like and subscribe if you like what I have to say. Uh, I'll come back with a little bit more computery, Linuxy, y stuff in the future, I promise. Bye.